Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a while, but I've been super busy being a pageant girl. I know I sound super fuzzy right now, it's because I've been sick all week, so bear with me. Make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below suggesting what you would like to see next. Stay tuned as I slay this magenta look. For this look, you will need the L'Oreal 40 Volume Cream Developer. You will also need the L'Oreal High Color Highlights in the color magenta, a mixing bowl and mixing brushes. You always want to get a deep conditioner. It's very important when it comes to dyeing hair. I know sometimes it can be a pain, but it just gives your hair that glossy and nice finish. The last thing you'll need is a hairbrush. This just helps to eliminate tangles as you're dyeing your hair. Now let's get started. I'm gonna start off with the frontal first. I've already pre-mixed my dye, so I'm just gonna get right into it. So when I'm dyeing, I start from the top and work my way to the bottom. So you're gonna see me doing this in a repeated fashion. And again, you need to brush your hair before you start this, so you can get every piece as you are dying. So now that I've got the front part of my frontal, as you can see, it's very red. <laughs> um, I'm gonna keep adding to the parts that I want to show the most red. I'm gonna speed it up here. When I'm finished with the front, I'm flipping it over. This is also a very important thing to do when you're dyeing hair. You flip over your hair and you get the back. And as you can see, my sister's helping me out. And I'm gonna continue doing the same method on the back of this frontal. Now onto the bundles. This is the longest bundle, it's a 22 inch. So I'm not doing the top because you're not really gonna see it when we put the wig together. But I'm doing the same method, top working my way to the bottom. This is the best method I've ever used. It's worked for me every time. So keep working your way down, get all the tips. You literally want to see no black. Again, you're gonna flip it over when you're done. And if you need help, make sure you ask for help because dye can get messy. So my sister's helping me flip it over here and I'm gonna do the same method on the back. So you start from the top and you work your way to the bottom again, making sure that you're not seeing any unwanted black. Now I'm gonna show you the outcome after dyeing all three bundles. Super red and crazy. But it's important to have a garbage bag laid out because you do not want to red dye all over your counter or wherever you're dyeing your hair. After you're done dyeing each bundle, it's important to wrap it in aluminum foil. This just helps keep the messy dye out the way and it also helps speed up the process of dyeing. So here's how it looks after about two hours. We kept it in for about four hours. With the high color, sometimes it takes a while. So you wanna keep it in from about two hours to four hours depending on how you want your color to look. And here are the bundles. They're looking very nice and red. Here we have the final look. I love this color, guys. It turned out so beautifully. I would highly recommend 
the L'Oreal High Color. It's just lovely. This is a lovely fall look. Right now it's been blown out. It hasn't changed, so that's why it looks a little bit fuzzy. But yeah, this is the final look. Like I told you guys, I've been super busy. I won Miss Liberia, Minnesota 2017 to 2019. So the next clip you're going to see is me after I won and my family congratulating me. Thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, subscribe, comment, and like this video. See you next time, beauts.